Good morning, good morning to you. I am the love goddess of Dream Johnson for dreamsuniverse.me and also my main profile, misanthicdream.com, your virtual wifey, your girlfriend. Good morning on this family day. Sunday, I am coming with you all. This is going to be a vlog and, and, and also reviews on local businesses during the month of March, which today's the last day. I went to a lot of businesses, did a lot of shopping, did a lot of reviews and I shared them on uh, I think it's ATL the dream on my my Google Maps reviews check them out um, if you follow me on Google Plus which is going to be ending soon but um, yeah my local reviews on my Google are are published publicly so let me have a sip here I, I don't think I had enough caffeine this morning hold on mmm green tea and me okay so the first business and i'm only going to do a few the first review of these local business with the metro atlanta area and i may just throw out some little random little places that i like to shop and or that i like to frequent shall i say oh <laughs> i like to give my coins to because they deserve it they have some good products so anyway first one yesterday and i'm explaining why I had a bad, 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 bad experience. This is what prompted, I do believe, this post. Bad experience at Del Taco. Why? You pick it on Del Taco, Dream. Why? Because I always go to Del Taco. And recently, y'all, I have not been on chicken, beef, turkey, none of that. And I do occasional eat fish and I may have like an egg on top of my salad okay other than that I don't do meat anymore for like two months okay so when I get a craving where I want some fish tacos I want my fish tacos damn it so um going in to drive through a del taco as I've done in the past in Snellville what is this on 124 um going in there getting my little tacos and I was like hey can you add the avocado I think the avocado is like 80 cents because you get like two tacos um I'm in there trying to open up my little I went to Sprouts so I did not feel like going all the way back down the road there look there yonder <laughs> down the road to complain about my order so I pick up the phone I'm in the Sprouts parking lot the phone just ring 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 ring, ring. no answer then some type of voicemail thing comes up I look at my receipt my lovely cashier Sandra hello shout out to you um, she did her job as far as the person collecting the money at the window. I'm not sure if she's the same individual back there putting the taco together. I highly doubt it, but she put on the receipt. It's on the receipt. Okay. So she put in the order, um, that I added taco. I mean, excuse me, avocado to my fish tacos, but nothing was on my fish tacos, but the regular stuff. And she put a whole gob of sauces in there for them little bitty, bitty ass baby tacos. Because, you know, I eat like bite-sized things because of my Steve sleep that I had my weight loss surgery a few years ago. So anyway, yeah, bad, bad, bad review. Now, the strawberry lemonade is okay if you're into that type of thing and those little mini shakes that they have. Okay, they're fine. But the fish tacos yesterday were horrible because you forgot my damn avocados. And then when I go to Sprouts, they're 80 cents for one. Yeah. Mm. I want to just take one for Sprouts and just put it on my damn fish tacos and keep it moving. But anyway. I was so in my emotions that day, you know, we women, we so, I was hormonal yesterday, but that hormonal in me was like, go back up there to the damn taco, throw them goddamn tacos to the mother window and just go off on the person handing me the tacos. But because I'm, I'm the love goddess too, I decided not to listen to that mean chick in my head i didn't do that but i visually saw myself mm, rubber to the road back right back up there and just throwing those tacos at the drive through window and just going off but i didn't do it that was my forgive my blackness my hormone my, my womb my womb <laughs> you know i had a little brief nigga isms <laughs> brief nigga isms all right so anyway, <laughs> Del Taco, you got saved by the, in my head, okay? My spirit just calming me down, chill. It's only fish tacos, boo. It's only fish tacos. So anyway, um, 
The next person that I want to give a shout out to is, dun, 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 and I know I can go faster with this, y'all. I know I can. I know I can. But I'm just not going to with my review here of Sweet Joy, okay, ice cream bar. That is at 178 East Krogan Street, Suite 100 in Lawrenceville, Georgia. That's in the heart of downtown Lawrenceville, y'all. I'm a Gwinnishian, yes, please believe I'm a Gwinnishian, been here since 2004. I have to support the local businesses here, uh, especially if they are female owned and operated. Yes, yes, girl power, girl power, girl power all day. So the owner, Talia, I believe that's how you pronounce her name, and uh, Matt, they're a loving, loving newlywed couple. They are the uh, runners, um, they run the shop. Tally is the owner, female, with, you know, you got Matt over here, her soon-to-be hubby. They do a, a phenomenal job. They did a phenomenal job with the opening. They have not had their grand opening yet. I'm hoping that you all visit her down there on um, near the Lawrenceville lawn, and that is like a million-dollar location, okay? 178 East Krogan Street. And I'm going to tell you what's the lovely thing about Sweet Joy Ice Cream Bar in the heart of Lawrenceville, Georgia. Sweet Joy has this sweet, sweet spot with her um, ice cream that she makes. Oh, or that Talia makes. Because it has alcohol. Yes, that is an adult dessert. It's alcohol-infused ice cream. Yummy, yummy, yumminess. You hear me? Yumminess. Let's see what I've had. I've had to sample the margarita, and what I actually got was the crown apple pie. I'm about to say crown roll. Crown apple pie. That was yum, yum, yum. And then look, and then the next time I went there, I had, let's see. Ah, it was the something sunshine. Oh, that was nice. Um, it had cola in it. Cola, cola. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Yeah. Um, and it was just nice. And I had the strawberry, which was non-alcoholic. I had the non-alcoholic and I mixed the two. It was so, so good. And, and everything is homemade. Homemade, yes, indeed. Yes, you got to go because she, sometimes she creates different flavors. So just letting you know that um, the flavors do change. I have pictures up on my Google. I have pictures up on Facebook. I did a review on her Facebook. Shout out. Mm -hmm. So Sweet Joy Ice Cream Bar. And one of the awesome, lovely things is that I will be doing some events there. Oh, yes, I'll be doing some meet and greets there and also some workshops there for women. But the meet and greets can be for you. It could be a whole group of you or it could be, you know, just me uh, putting it all together and you won't even see me. And I'm actually planning one of those events in May. <laughs> Has nothing to do with me. I'm just putting it together as a brand ambassador that I can be. You know, you know, you know that I can be. Anyway, I love people coming together, especially when it has something to do with um, supporting business and 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 rising in love and and coming together with good 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 vibes, wholesome, wholesome fun, and not so wholesome fun is good too. <laughs> mm, especially when there's money involved and then some happiness involved too. Yes, but anyway, um. I want to talk about one of my favorite grocery stores right now, real quick. And I'm going to go into my movie reviews. So um, many of you all have met me out and, and I'm in probably in personal shopper mode. I do personal shopping as well uh, with the on-demand app jobs that they have here now. Everything is just right there. But anyway, so I do work and I also support as a consumer Publix where shopping is a pleasure. And it is, it is. You know what? One thing I can say about Publix employees that I've met and I've done business with, they're always courteous. They're always just nice and thoughtful. Um, from the people where you're doing the, the, the apron, the little demonstrations, the cook in there. You got Irma over there and the Duluth one the, uh, on Pleasant Hill. She's great. Been doing her for years. And then you got Brandon in the bakery. He's nice. He's good. And they helped me with a lot of dessert choices over the years. Mm, hey, shout out to Brandon in the bakery. That's bad. But I just shout people out, just our local people in the community, um, just doing phenomenal things with just sharing positivity and love. And, and even if they are on the job, they're still um, nice because some people are on the job and they're still assholes. 
Okay? They don't care. They're just assholes. But it's nice when people are actually genuinely polite. And you know, you know, you know by their aura, their essence. And uh, also about Publix, uh, the bathrooms are always clean. The ones that I frequent and the music i don't know who's the dj look i don't know who the dj in there sometime i'm in there pushing my little cart and i'm just getting it like okay okay what what mm-hmm. yeah you want to just you know drop it low real quick and do a little belly roll and ow it's just so nice this <laughs> is so nice it's so nice and clean and what else i want to say about Publix? but one thing i have to i have to say about Publix. Publix, if someone is listening corporate i gotta talk to you OK, you have this dairy processing plant off of 316 where you process all the milk and all the good stuff that we consume. OK. Dairy wise at the warehouse over there. Y'all know because a lot of y'all are probably watching that you have uh, worked there at that public warehouse. But I want to talk public corporate. I was the one who called the environmental people on your asses. OK. I support the grocery store. OK, I get it. But what y'all putting out here, the smell, the stench in the grocery store, any of you all, if y'all up that way, University Parkway, and it it crosses over into, um, uh, what is this, Lawrenceville Highway, that intersection right there, okay? At some time of night, they are dumping milk, like old, stankity, dank, raw milk. It just smells horrible. It smells worse than ass and feet put together like funky far... I can't, I can't describe it. It stinks. And I know that there are a certain amount of emissions that you could, one company can put out in the air environmentally wise. And I checked into it, but, um, it was me that gave the call because I happened to be a resident over in that lovely area. Okay. And I'm in my backyard trying to sit here and just, you know, woo saw a little bit and the funk hit my nose as soon as I walked out my backyard. Come on now, Publix, you got to clean that up. Is there some way you can use some type of filter? You know, y'all got all this money. You know, you pay your people well. Yeah. So that means you're doing well. I know you are. The stores are clean. Your products are good. Your prices that people don't, you know, we, we pay your, your your products. And sometimes it can be kind of pricey and, and it's good. They're worth it. And, you know, I'm not complaining about that. But I am complaining about the pollutants, the smell, the odor that you are emitting, okay, into the environment from your dairy processing plant. Y'all need to work on that. Y'all need to forward this video to somebody to speed it up to this part of the video, okay? Thank you, I had to put that little out there, okay? (laughs) So on to my movie review at what, almost 12 minutes of me running my mouth. Us the movie, yes I saw it, I seen it. I liked it, I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. I'm actually, I'm gonna give it a a thumbs up and and a smile. Jordan Peele, like it, like it. Okay, um, I'm not gonna say what I like. First of all, after I left that movie, doo 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 doo. Oh, the cat. I'm playing that. Okay, want to get out and just. With the. I got the. I just wanted to just get out and just. In AMC, and just party. You know, just walk out of there out the movie theater like that. I was doing one of those. I felt more awoke um there's a lot of symbolism in the video this is my personal review but uh for those of you who are not um ocd um, you have a you have difficulty just breaking things down in a creative way forget in in any other way (laughs) um if you get confused by a lot of symbolism don't go see this movie if you want to go see it for like a thriller supporting your folk go see it period okay yeah Go see it. Um, I'm not against it. And uh, I'm a fellow numerology buff. So I saw a lot of 11, 11 in that video. So I'm going to say it was a good movie. <laughs> I shall say it's a good movie. A person in numerology. Um, hmm, numerology loving. I'm going to say that. Anyway. And also, if you're going, also, if you are woke, go. Gave your conscience, go. Um... If you're concerned about certain well issues and you are woke, um, go. Yeah, go, 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 go. Um, what else? Um, if you're a fan of Winston Duke, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look, oh, yeah. Um, and his chocolate thighs, go. <laughs> Winston Duke, 
he has like um, enlightened me to to know what I want <laughs> in a chocolate man. Shut up. Shout out beer gang, you know, hashtag beer gang. And that's it for that. Um, a Netflix review real quick. And these are things I just jotted down this morning, this Sunday. So Alfred Woodard um, and her Netflix movie, Winita, she's starring in that, in this Netflix movie. Um, Alfred Woodard, I love this movie, Winita. And Adam Beach plays her um, new boo that she obtains in this movie. Or he, he, he goes after her and gets her. That's the lady love that, that towards the end of the movie. Adam Beach. Um, and Blair... Underwood playing yet another villain. <laughs> uh, a lot of people don't like Blair because of these roles that he take. He is a choice. I know he does, but Blair Underwood played himself. He was her fantasy boo in the movie, and she was a single working mom. Um, I'm sure she was probably in her 50s that she was playing the movie. I'm not, I'm not sure how old she was playing this character in the movie, Juanita, but um, I liked it. I loved it. I uh, watched it um, on um, on Sexy Time Night last week after I had watched it here um, by myself and the kids. And then um, I got my mom to watch it. I don't think she was a fan, but I don't think it kind of clicked for her. But it clicked for me because I don't want the life like Juanita. Please believe her. <laughs> I don't want that life. So it was just some things in there that I love that Netflix, um, the producers and writers Shout out to you on that one. Um, also, oh, happy birthday before I go. Look, happy born day. Happy born day to the lovely Atlanta resident model actor, Gerard. Mm. Oh, baby, I don't know how to pronounce Is it Sing? Sing? Gerard. Okay, follow him on Instagram. Gerard, that is J-E-R-A-U underscore D S I N. GH at Instagram. He is a Michigan raise like me, and he has Trini background, male model, beer gang too. And uh, he follows me. I follow him on Instagram, and um, I've conversed with him. He's he's also um, been in some essence and some videos. He's been in the video with uh, the group here, Escape, as the main character. But today is his birthday, doggone it! Happy birthday to you, dear. All right, God, man, Gerard, enjoy your birthday and many, many, many blessings uh, to you a thousandfold. Mm -hmm. I am signing off, okay? Oh, ooh, I know I was not about to forget this last one. Okay, last shout out, my last but not least, is to the Womb Academy featuring the Honey Diva, a.k.a. the Womb Minister, lovemywombacademy.com. Tracy Bryant Swint. Mm, namaste. She is a practitioner. She's a teacher. She's an advocate. She's a minister. She's a wifey. And guess what? She was one of the individuals that was responsible for, and she's a friend too, y'all. Can I say that? She's a friend. She was responsible for the yoni sting that I got two weeks ago. Um, and the practitioner who did it was good. God, goddess, look, I can't even say it because it's so good. <laughs> goddess Medea Brooks, one of my fellow sistren. Yes, yes, yes. She is also Reiki certified. So what happened was they helped me in my ritual of calling in the beloved. And I did a Yoni steam. It was like a, a real sacred, a very holistic, um, just a womb experience healing. I'm going to tell y'all something. Ladies, if you don't believe in self-care when it comes to your womb, your breast care, and just your whole entire being, girl, you need to have several seats, okay? You're not, I'm calling you girl. You're not lady. You're not woman. Um, girl, this is something you definitely, definitely, definitely need to get into when you're talking about being holy, all right? And I'm talking about, yeah, you could say H-O-L-Y, but I like to say W H O L L Y when I'm saying holy, when I'm referencing holy, okay, as a love goddess. Okay. Um, you need to get with the program with these Yoni Steams. I am a mom. I am a glamour mom. I felt a lot better with this steam, and I've had it done over at Jeju and Duluth a few years ago. 
this is something different, okay? It was a, I had the reflexology, I had the clay and the massage, and girl, it was moving some stuff around, gas, okay, BM stuff, all in the GI tract in the womb with the hot stones, and she was moving the energy. I got some reflexology on my feet, and y'all know I'm a foot goddess. All that energy releasing from those areas and stuff, oh, I'm more aligned, okay? Look, okay, and I felt great, and I still feel great in drawing in, 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 yummy, 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 more yummy vibes. So I want to let y'all know that, okay? Make sure if you are looking for someone to purchase these steam kits from, and see, fellas, if you don't know what a yoni steam is, let me, first of all, let me break this down. Yoni, Sanskrit, vagina, sacred space, her womb, okay? That's what the yoni, that's what we call yoni. Moon cycle, period, menstruation, blood, she's bleeding, having a cycle, okay? That's what we're talking about. Um, I am one who, who still bleeds. <laughs> I have a moon cycle. So what you can do is there are these pots that have herbs and steam. You sit on them, okay? And then the steam goes up inside of you. And these herbs are sacred herbs, different herbs to help with UTIs, and if she's prone to getting yeast infections and um, other things, BV and things of that nature, or she wants some tightness going on in there, she just wants some extra look, sweetness steamed up in there, it helps. You hear me? It helps. It does. And then when she goes into this facility, um, she's treated none other, no, no lesser. You know, she's treated like a goddess. She's treated like me. You know, she's not treated like a, like at a, at, like when you go to these other, other places, you know, I already said the name, but when you go to those other places, you're not treated like, you know, like the ER moving the meat type thing. No, you have an actual experience. Okay. With love my womb Academy, sensual honey wellness. I think that's what it is. Sensual honey wellness.com is her website. But if not, you can always inbox me. And I'll put the links here too once I upload this to everyone. Okay? Everything that I've discussed in this video. But anyway, um, it is an experience. You sit there and you have the little stuff on. And, and then she tends to you. She asks you personal questions. And fellas, if y'all don't know, just educate yourself on it. So if you have someone who is struggling with certain different things, um, it just excessive bleeding and, and cramping, this is something she wants to experience. You may want to invest have to have her experience because it is something holistic. It is something that definitely is beneficial. Um, and it is an enhancement as well. <laughs> but as well, adding to the yumminess, the sweetness within. So anyway, also congratulations to her, the woman minister, Tracy Bryant Swint. She's like me, have high, I had a hyphenated name. Bryant Swint, shout out to Godman Swint, her husband. Um, she is on the episode with Viceland. Mm -hmm. I think it's what, uh, the Sexpert, the Sexpert show. And I will put that link too. And it's on YouTube. I'll share that too. Oh yeah. She has one right here on YouTube. Yep, 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 yep. I'm going to share it with y'all. And I'm so, 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 so proud of her. She's done things with different magazines, uh, with health and wellness, and also just educating people about that in their whole well-being, the temple that you are. All right, so I'm signing off. We're going to need some more tea. I'm signing off on this Sunday. All right, y'all. Oh, my God, it's, it's life from AtlanticDream.com. Signing off. I got to go. All right, enjoy your family day Sunday. Bye. Mm -hmm. I see you. Oh, I see you too. Mm-hmm.